Mike Tomlin didn't trash John Gruden. I'm not here to defend John Gruden. I've never really been a fan. You know, I know he won his Super Bowl with Tampa Bay and a long time ago. And, um, you know, for some reason, he always sort of rubbed me the wrong way. And I tend to be super intuitive. And I don't always know why people rub me this, the wrong way. But then you find out years later there was something funky about him. Um, but we live in a culture now where it's so extreme, people get vilified. It's not just that he gets canceled, right? Let's just look at the big picture here. The NFL leaked this. Someone leaked this to New York Times. I noticed no one's really commenting on who leaked this and why they leaked it. What was the motives, right? You know, did they want to get rid of a bad guy? Or is it that he called the NFL commissioner a faggot and the commissioner didn't like him? You know, and maybe he trashed some other people and they didn't like him, so they got rid of him. You know, it's like sort of a political hit job in some ways. Now, does he deserve to be gone? Probably, you know. I mean, some of the things he said were clearly, you know, not cool and out of touch. But let's, again, put things into perspective, you know. Um, this is not war, you know, where people get their nuts blown off, right? I mean... It's not pancreatic cancer. You know, people are dying in the worst ways. It's not rape. Now, is it bad for society that some people hold racist beliefs still? You know? Yeah. But again, ask Mike Tomlin, who worked with him, what he's really like. Now, Keyshawn Johnson the other day, you know, the famous Jet, who also played for him for that Super Bowl team, you know, said that, you know, he had a bad habit, Gruden, of sort of, saying things behind people's back, but he didn't see, necessarily see this other side, the, you know, so-called racist side. Um, it's a really bad habit to put something in email, but I'm, I, you know, I just want to say to you, you being everybody, you know, what have you done or said that you're not proud of? And had that gone into email? You know, this was a private email, so clearly it was leaked for political reasons, you know, or power reasons, you know, someone, they wanted to get rid of them. So they, they leaked it. Who's they? I don't know. You know, was it Roger Goodell? You know, was it some of the owners? Maybe. But ask Jerry Jones what, what, what he was like. Now, no one's really going to, most people aren't going to stand up and tell the truth. The truth is probably mixed. There are probably some decent things about him. And there were probably bad things about him. And the bad caught up. But who's perfect here, right? Now, does he deserve to be fired? Again, probably. But, like, let's not vilify John Gruden as if he's the devil, as if he's Adolf Hitler, or, you know, this is not Auschwitz. I'm a genetic Jew. You know, my culture um, has been slaughtered in this lifetime. As kids, my twin brother and I went through a lot of anti-Semitism. We were called kikes and hebes, and we had a fight. You know, uh, uh, you know just because uh, other kids would pick on us and... You know, 40, 50 years ago, there was no such thing as Jewish holidays. So when we didn't go to church, we had a real problem in the town we grew up in. Um, you know, I've dated a lot of um, women of color and other minorities and so on. And I've had so many experiences. And, you know, often some of those people didn't go through one-tenth of the racism that I experienced personally. Um, you know, am I white so I can kind of hide in a way? Yeah, and is that an advantage? Possibly, yeah. And maybe it is for real, but I also went through it for real myself. And I don't think that we need to, like, over-dramatize this, right? Is he this super bad human being? Probably not. Is he a good guy? Maybe not, right? Um, but how many other coaches aren't good guys? <laughs> like, really? And how many other people aren't good guys? And how many in the media really, really, you know, have a bias and, you know, want to sort of vilify people that don't fit their sort of, you know, stereotype of how Americans or humans should be? I'm a psychologist. It's complicated. You know, it's not black and white. Look at Bill Clinton, for instance, right? You know, in a lot of ways, he was a great president. But I know personal stories of things that he did that are just kind of disgusting, right? And and there were so many women that he didn't treat well. And he was on the plane with Jeffrey Epstein. So how come you're not, you know, going after Bill Clinton here, right? 
So I think we need to like have perspective in life and perspective is that we don't just automatically assume that all his behavior was bad because he said some stuff in anger that was completely inappropriate and under no circumstances should have been sent in an email. I, I think, you know, I coach a lot of people and I often say that, you know, um, you know, it takes a lot of self-awareness and self-discipline not to, you know, say or do something stupid when you're angry. And I think that's a personal growth journey that a lot of people don't go on. You know, it's sort of a EQ issue, you know, common sense. Um, and does that mean that a coach in the NFL um, should be allowed to be a coach because he lacks common sense in other areas? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Um, clearly, he's vilified now. Um, but is he this awful human being? Probably not. You know, um, are you whoever you are that's judging the shit out of John Gruden? Are you a perfect human being? Do you make mistakes? Have you said things in anger that are inappropriate? Have you sent texts that are inappropriate? You know, have, you know, are they twinged with racism at times? I don't know. Uh, I certainly don't think I have, but I don't know. I can't remember what I said 30 years ago. I certainly went through so much as a kid and I feel like I have enough consciousness to be aware that even in the darkest times, you know, I, I wouldn't say something or do something like that. Um, but I also am aware I'm not perfect, right? And that if everything we said or thought was on an email, all of us would be canceled. Um, so anyway, I'm just trying to communicate a little bit of my thoughts on perspective here. And I think it's important in today's divisive culture to put things in perspective and then not be so quick to judge and do black or white. You know, black or white is all of a sudden someone's a bad human being. Are they a bad human being? Well, it depends how you define bad. Maybe, maybe not. Um, but he's certainly not a serial killer, and um, or at least it seems that way, right? Um, and, you know, not a rapist, or at least it seems that way. And, you know, and those are things that are really awful, right? And then, like I said, you know, if you have cancer or heart disease or you're dying or you've been shot in war and you have no legs, um, these are things, or you've had traumatic brain injury, these are things that are far worse than, you know, these racist, racist tropes. Um, football players are tough, right? And so they've all said and done things that are not cool. And if it was on the email, probably every single one of them would get in trouble in some way. Um, so, you know, can a football players play through this? Yeah, people have the ability to compartmentalize. Um, and I don't, you know, I, I think that that um, is something that, you know, again, it's not cool, but it's not the end of the world here. And should John Gruden be gone? Yes, but should we be asking the question who leaked the emails and why what was their real motives here um and can we put this thing in perspective um the the biggest problems we're having in our culture is the divisiveness and the quick the, the willingness to judge and frankly this cancel culture movement is disgusting um i have a strong opinion on that one i find it revolting i'm a psychologist i see the nuances the black and the white and the gray i see the gray all the time i often say you know, that, um, you know, rape is not straightforward. Sometimes it's like there's this date rape thing and you can't always tell what he said, she said. You know what I mean? Child molestation is clearly black and white. There's, you know, if someone did that, you know, they ought to be gone, right? So there are a few things that are black and white, but most of it, murder can be self-defense, right? When you defend yourself. Um, so that's great. So let's try to look at the gray and understand before we judge and be less quick to vilify and more, um, more willing to have compassion. As Mike Tomlin said, you know, he's just sad. He's sad for, for everybody, for, even for Gruden, right? And I feel similar, you know, I don't think he, I think it's appropriate that he's gone, but I, I feel sad, I feel bad for the guy because it's probably not as black and white as many people are making it out to be. Anyway, just some thoughts on John Gruden, our culture, and the NFL. Hey, I'm Dr. Brett.